Josh Duggar is a monster who deserves to spend many years in prison. This much has been proven in court, considering Duggar's conviction in December 2021 on charges of receiving and possessing child pornography. But Josh Duggar is also the symptom of something possibly more sinister and definitely more dangerous in terms of its reach and its influence. This, according to the producers of an upcoming Amazon documentary. As you may have read about Shiny Happy People, Duggar Family Secrets is coming to the aforementioned streaming platform. The limited series will shed light not just on Josh and his infamous family members, but on how the scandals surrounding the Duggars all connect back to the Institute in Basic Life Principles IBLP, Church. Speaking to People magazine about this project, Olivia Christ, one of the program's executive producers, claimed the following. Josh Duggar is really the tip of the iceberg in this group. There are so many thousands of families that have been hurt by this and have not had a voice, not for lack of trying, for many, many, many years, Chris tells this outlet. I mean, hope, the takeaway is really hearing the survivors, hearing what they've been through. And then, I think also for people still in, trapped in a fundamentalist or IBLP group, that hopefully this is a chance for them to say, hey, it is possible to get out and that they're not alone. Josh is a father of seven. He was arrested by Homeland Security in April 2021 on the previously cited charges of receiving and possessing child pornography. He was found guilty on all charges later that same year and was sentenced on May 2022 to more than 12 years in prison. By at least one account, Duggar isn't exactly popular in jail. Prior to this arrest, Duggar admitted to cheating on his wife with women he met via an adultery-themed website. Previously, he also confessed to molesting young girls, two of whom were his sisters Jill, Duggar, Dillard and Jessa, Duggar, Seawald, when he was a young teenager. Christ believes Duggar grew up in a system that is inherently abusive and has a lack of sex education. This environment, she claims to people, breeds abuse. Christ goes on to say that the docuseries will go into a lot of different types of abuses that happened within this cult, adding. But one of the things I want to highlight is really the educational neglect that happened to a lot of these children is really astonishing. Their education was not sufficient. There are organizations out there, the Coalition for Responsible Homeschooling is one great one, that are doing really good work to advocate for the rights of children.